Sister wives. Why fans think Robin Brown lied about Nanny having COVID. And Mary Brown looks skinnier than ever as she grows her empire. I will explain everything. Watch this video until end. Hey lovely viewers. Welcome to my 2S Gossip Channel. Sister Wives star Robin Brown is facing a new issue after getting caught in another big lie that she allegedly made years ago. The 45-year-old has been facing criticism for manipulating Cody into making decisions that only benefit her and her children. However, some Redditors think she took matters into her own hands when she began to lose grip over the family during the pandemic. Robin remains inactive on her social media accounts despite the tragic loss of the Brown family in March. The Sister Wives star appeared at Garrison's funeral with Cody on her side, which became a huge controversy as some people believe the Brown family patriarch was supposed to sit next to the grieving mom, Janelle. Many fans are still upset about what happened to the Brown family since moving to Flagstaff. But some Redditors think Robin played a significant role in their struggles. Some also called her out for distancing her family from the Brown family, neglecting the purpose of polygamy. Why fans think Robin lied about Nanny having COVID? Some Sister Wives fans on Reddit discussed the possibility that Robin Brown lied about her Nanny having COVID. According to the poster, they were watching an old episode about Ariella's birthday where everyone had to test so they could celebrate as a family. However, Robin claimed that her Nanny tested positive for COVID, and the Reddit user thought it was a terrible lie. The poster speculated that it was Robin's way to create distance in the family. No one else spoke to the nanny or witnessed the conversation. The first thing Robin said on the VT was along the lines of, well, I guess that's the end of us all getting together again, it's too dangerous, the poster added. Others agreed with the speculation and believed that the fourth wife of Cody would do anything she could to break the family apart. Some also mentioned how suspicious it was for the nanny to get sick during that time. I don't know whether the nanny actually had COVID, but it seems pretty suspicious to me. They had a big party for Ariella, and then immediately had to isolate again. If the nanny really had COVID, circumstances just happened to hand Cody and Robin exactly what they wanted. It seems more likely to me that they lied about it. If the nanny had just been exposed to it, I'd believe that more. She actually had it and was coming over, supposedly working one-on-one -on -one with the children and everyone tested negative. Seems unlikely. The problem is liars are going to lie, but once in every 10 years they tell the truth. However, because they are liars no one believes them. I personally call BS and think it's more. Slobin lies. But who really knows? Some Sister Wives fans also believe that Robin is still doing her antics of separating her own family from the rest. This comes after Robin arrives at Garrison's funeral without any of her kids. Another Reddit thread also discussed the absence of Robin Brown's children during the sad family gathering. Some felt bad about the kids being sheltered by their mom while grieving the loss of their stepbrother. Did any of Robin's kids attend Garrison's memorial? I don't see any of them in any of the pictures. Robin shelters her children from everything and anything remotely uncomfortable. There's no way she would let any of them go. I feel like her kids need actual help. Since leaving Cody Brown, Sister Wives star and first wife Mary Brown has focused on herself, losing weight, and growing her business empire. Since finally leaving Cody Brown, Sister Wives star Mary Brown has been losing weight and focusing on growing her business empire. Mary was Cody's first wife, and they were married for 32 years before finally deciding to call it quits. The couple had one child together, and Mary held on much longer than she should have. By the time she walked away, Cody had been neglecting his first wife for many years. Adding insult to injury, Cody had openly admitted that he was no longer attracted to Mary. Though Mary believed in their polygamous lifestyle, the neglect and humiliation got to be too much. In January 2023, the Sister Wives Season 18 stars announced their split. The couple had already divorced back in 2014, so that Cody could legally marry his fourth wife, Robin Brown. Before Cody could adopt Robin's three children from a past marriage, they needed to be legally wed. Despite the paperwork, Cody and Mary were still in a spiritual union until the dissolution of their relationship. After leaving Cody, Mary focused on her health and well-being. 
Embarking on a weight loss journey, the sister wives star started living a more active lifestyle and shedding weight. On March 5, 2025, Mary's world was rocked to the core by news of the tragic death of Garrison Brown. 25-year-old Garrison was Cody's son with his second wife, Janelle Brown. He was found dead of a self-inflicted gunshot wound in his Flagstaff, Arizona home. Hours after news of his death broke, Mary posted a family message that read, Our family is deeply saddened to announce the loss of our beautiful boy, Robert Garrison Brown. He was a bright spot in the lives of all who knew him. This loss will leave such a big hole in our lives, and it takes our breath away. Mary knew Garrison his whole life and helped raise him, so he was like a son to her. Garrison's tragic death devastated the Brown family, including Mary, who has looked even thinner since he passed away. It's possible that Mary has been eating less as she reels from the profound loss. Mary, whose four-month relationship with Amos Andrews is discussed in the clip above, has always had an entrepreneurial spirit, even during her plural marriage with Cody and his other wives. The Browns were involved in various business ventures over the years. For starters, the Browns had a clothing store, a jewelry business, and a 2012 New York Times bestseller called Becoming Sister Wives, The Story of Unconventional Marriage. Near the end of her marriage, Mary made a lifelong dream come true by turning her grandmother's old house into a charming bed and breakfast called Lizzie's Heritage Inn. According to Mary's official website, she has been busily growing her empire. The landing page of her site reads, Unveiling the Heart, a journey through the layers of Mary's world, and focuses on her business ventures. A scroll down the page finds Mary's business portfolio. From motivational speaking engagements to product lines, every project is a reflection of Mary's belief. In the Power of Self-Worth, reads the website copy, followed by a list of her business ventures. In addition to the B&B, &B, Mary works with Park Lane and Lularoo, she's also available on Cameo. Mary has never been lucky in love. Though she and Cody were married for 32 years, it was a very lonely time for Mary. Her romantic prospects seemed to improve shortly after she left Cody, when she started dating a new man. Fans were hoping that Mary's relationship with Amos Andrews would work out. Fellow sister wife Christine Brown had married David Woolley a few short years after leaving Cody, and hopes were high that Mary and Amos would go down a similar path. Sadly, the relationship ended soon after it began. In February 2024, Mary announced her breakup on Instagram. The long caption read, In part, last week, I had to face some hard truths and have some difficult conversations. Mary went on to explain that though she and Amos cared about each other, their relationship wasn't going to continue. Sister Wives fans took to the comment section to register their support for Mary. Yes girl, love yourself enough to wait for the person who will bring exactly everything you want to the table, wrote one person. Another promised, your forever love will find you when the time is right. Today, March 26, marks three years since the passing of my beautiful mom, and three weeks since the passing of our sweet garrison. Grief is a myriad of emotions that include despair, and anger, feelings of pain, or hopelessness. It's a universal human emotion and a natural response to loss. Grief is also love, for without feeling the love, the pain of loss wouldn't be so great. Grief sends you on a roller coaster of emotions, never knowing the twists and turns ahead, whether you're headed into an upturn or a free fall. Grief is not linear. There's no timeline or rule book to follow. It's not the same for any two people, and no. Two people handle it in the same exact way. I've had my share of loss, both through death and the endings of relationships, and each loss is individual and has a unique timeline of manageability. Having lost to death both parents, three siblings, and now one of our boys, I recognize my coping mechanisms. I recognize when I need to go inward and be alone, letting the grief move through me as cry alone into my pillow. I recognize when I need to surround myself with my trusted people to gather strength from them. I recognize when I need to attempt, in some small way, a semblance of normalcy. In each step, it takes a little bit of bravery 
to recognize and give that gift to myself. My timeline of grief, the way I deal with it, the emotions I feel through it, might be different than yours, and yours may be different than the next person's. Neither is right, and neither is wrong. It just ice. Life will never go back to normal after a loss that several weeks after Garrison's tragic death, Mary posted another photo of herself and Garrison, alongside a photo of herself and her mother. The caption reads, in part, today, March 26, marks three years since the passing of my beautiful mom, and three weeks since the passing of our sweet Garrison. Sister Wives fans know that Mary was very close to her mother, as she was to Garrison. One day at a time Mary, wrote someone in the comments section, adding, make the most of each day as it comes. Loads of people are rooting. For you. Grief is a myriad of emotions that include despair and anger, feelings of pain, or hopelessness. In addition to highlighting her profound grief, the side-by-side -side photos also illustrate Mary's weight loss journey, as she is markedly thinner now than she is in either of these photographs. In the caption, Mary also writes, Grief is a myriad of emotions that include despair and anger, feelings of pain, or hopelessness. Mary appears to be struggling with her grief over losing Garrison. Hopefully, if she needs help, she will be able to ask for it. Sister Wives Season 19 will follow the Browns as they mourn Garrison. On screen, Sister Wives star Mary Brown struggled to make meaningful connections with other members of the Brown family. But today, she's anything but lonely. In fact, she opted to give someone special a shout-out on social media today. Over the last several seasons of Sister Wives, fans watched Mary and Cody drift farther and farther apart. Once they split, Mary knew she needed to find her own community. Thankfully, she has plenty of friends, whom Instagram users see in photos with the TLC star. But she also found a very special friend to fill her days with joy. My girl and her smile. One of her favorite things is going to the dog park and running with all her friends. Mary shared on Instagram, along with an adorable photo of Zona. She went on to detail all the excuses she made over the years for not getting a dog. But in the end, she was so glad she chose to adopt Zona. She follows me around and wants to be near me, Mary continued. It's clear how much the Sister Wives star loves the little dog. She shows me love and loves to cuddle on my lap. She brings me joy that I didn't know was missing, that only the love of a dog can give. My sweet Zona Zo, pure joy, and pure love. Mary's followers flooded the comments section to wish her and Zona well. Many felt delighted to know that she gave the sweet dog a loving home. Comments included, Rescue dogs almost always rescue us. Quote, Dogs are the absolute best. They give nothing but unconditional love and always come into your life when they know you need them the most. I don't know what I'd do without my little girl Zona is too adorable and I can tell she's a complete sweetheart. She's beautiful. Dogs are the absolute best. They'll never hurt you. Unconditional love. She's gorgeous you give each other unconditional. Love and happiness and that's so precious. The Sister Wives star has always loved dogs. Mary Brown's longtime social media followers know that she's loved dogs for quite some time. Her child Leon has several pets. Over the past several years, it wasn't at all uncommon to see Mary spending time with Leon and the dogs. Thanks for watching this video. What do you think about this video told on comment box and subscribe your channel.